it all. And from now on, the game gets played by our rules. And we get to bend them every which way we want. We're going to New York. New York? New York? That toddle and pal. That's Chicago, you. You num num. New York is our town. I figure if we can make it there, we can make it anywhere. Sounds sensational, Walt. But uh, what are we going to do there? We're going to be bad. <laughs> We're going to make life miserable for everybody we can. We're going to torment people and terrorize them. We're going to lie and cheat and steal <laughs> and force everyone to live under our control. We're going to rule New York with an iron will. Gee, that sounds great, Walt. Only way to go. And I want you all the way. I want you to know that. But uh, I was just wondering, and this is purely informational, big guy. Why are we doing this, huh? Because we're evil, you idiots. We are bad. That's our job. And as long as I'm in charge, the game gets played by our rules. <laughs> Dad, why are they doing this to us? I really don't know. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. But I do know this. These are mean guys, and I'm pretty sure they're evil. Oh, gosh, do you figure they want our chocolate all for themselves? No, Junior. I, I think they want to use our chocolate as a kind of delicious blackmail. So they can get people to do exactly what they want. Oh, that's terrible. Chocolate's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a pleasure. Well, no matter what, we can't let them. Pretty smart moose, huh, Walt? You tell that moose that all he has to do is make chocolate. Lots and lots of chocolate for us. I got a feeling he doesn't want to do that. That's bad for you. Why me? Because if he doesn't start making chocolate, and I mean lots and lots of chocolate, fast, I'm going to pull your ears off. Uh, don't give it a second thought, boss. Uh, that moose and the kid will be banging out bonbons in no time. Excellent. What's so important about this chocolate anyway? Oh, that's such a good question, Rodney. But tell me, do you like chocolate? Well, yeah, sure. I like an occasional munch. You and everyone else, the whole world craves chocolate. And he who controls chocolate controls everything. You're too much, boss. You really are. The road to power is paved with chocolate. <laughs> Those who join us at the Statue of Liberty may even get a sliver of the moose's chocolate. But those who don't, <laughs> they won't. I get it. We'll kind of be encouraging volunteers. You're catching on, Rotten. You're catching on. Today, chocolate. Tomorrow, the world. If for some mad, impossible to understand reason, you dare oppose me, I will blow every last one of you up! Oh, and I am the wheel! And I have the power! It isn't the heroic town of San Francisco Bay. I had a feeling you might pop up again, you dismal disease. Uh, please, uh, whoever you are, don't do anything crazy with those explosives. Crazy? I, I never do anything crazy, you pathetic pain. And as far as who I am, let me tell you once and forevermore that I am the power, I am the force. I am the supreme energy that does most certainly rule hither, hither and thereabouts. Ah, ah, ah! I would hate to blow that dear old lady and all of her visitors right out of this world. I doubt if you could ever put her back together again with your boring cable-tying trick. Uh, please, just tell me what you want, and if I can, I'll do it. You'd better believe you'll do it. And I'll tell you exactly what I want, right now. 
You're going to take one of those fancy flights of yours around Lady Liberty there. And you're going to make a little announcement. Exactly the way I tell you to. Or else! The spirit of Voltor lives. The jackals, under the loving guidance of their respected leader, are now in total charge. Their orders are... are law. The law of the Doomsday Switch. Gosh, the Doomsday Switch. Follow them well, and you will have nice, orderly lives. Resist and you will suffer the supreme penalty. Those who cooperate may even be rewarded with, with... may even be rewarded with a sliver or two of... of chocolate. appreciate what you've done for them? No? Of course not. Do you think they'll ever pay you the respect and homage a superior being deserves? No again. But look here. Look at us. Together. Oh, we're a perfect team. You know we are. Why, together, we could rule the world. We'd be rich and powerful. Think of it. Just think of it. Who could stop us? Almost anyone, you evil bird. 